Griffin's my brother. He's the only family I've got. I don't want to leave, Trixie. But if I don't run, they're gonna make me go to war. All able-bodied boys, 16 and older, are required for military service. Ezra thinks I'm crazy to go looking for Griffin. You be careful. It's a crazy world. Hi! It's talking to us! See that? That's a convoy of giants heading this way. You're gonna attack them? Of course. But we know that giant. Prepare to attack! No! Cal, don't! Turn around! Go back! Hey, turn around! Go back! You have to run! Sorry, I gotta send this, Trix. It's not your fault, Cal. I just couldn't stand by and watch them attack those giants. I mean, they were just minding their own business. I don't understand. I don't understand either. All I know is that was General Warner out there, and he's the one who came and took Griffin away. So he's my best chance at finding him right now. Well, something tells me he's not gonna take you to your brother just because you asked. So you think I'm gonna take you to your brother just because you asked? If you don't take me to see him, I'll just find him myself. <laughs> Is that right? Hmm, well, you got some fight in you, that's for sure. Your brother has the same fight in him. Lieutenant, bring my car around. Yes, sir. I'll take you to see your brother. It would be my pleasure. Come on, get in. Wait, where's Cal? Where's my friend? He's not going anywhere, just you. Now get in. After everything, after all this time, and after coming all this way, it's hard to believe that I'm actually gonna see my brother again. Part of me still doesn't believe it at all. Part of me is afraid to see what kind of awful condition General Werner is probably keeping Griffin in. But part of me is just so happy I can't help but smile. Rise and shine, sweetheart! My name is Trixie. Ah, oh, and you can call me Bill. Now get out of the truck! We're just in time for the show, my dear. Let's just find the right channel. Griffin? That's right. You know, when we recruited him, your brother was a real bleeding heart. He said he wouldn't fight. Not even against the soulless giants that came here to conquer our planet. That's right. He said there was no reason to fight. Ah, yes. He used to say that every day. It's amazing how time and the right methods of persuasion can change a man. This is General Warner. Griffin, my boy. The targets are in range. Launch the strike. Yes, sir, General. Griffin, no. He can't see or hear you. All squads prepare to attack. You see, my dear, he's still got that fight in him. Now he's just putting it to good use. No! 
Where is he? Don't be foolish, girl. Your brother is with us now. Keys, now! Captain, we're losing ground in Sector 3. Bring up the reinforcements and send two squads to Sector 3. Yes, sir. Captain, incoming vehicle. It looks like General Warren is here. Griffin! Griffin, it's me! It's Trixie! Where are you? The cliffs are unstable. Move the trucks away from the edge. Trixie? Move, move! Incoming! <laughs> Griffin? Griffin! Trixie! 